You're watching Dave's TV. And now to Dave in his man cave. Take it away, Dave. What's up, everyone? Dave from Dave's TV, and welcome to the man cave. All right. We are definitely doing another beer review today. I have been wanting to try this one for months. Um, talked to Brian about the beer snob about this one. And when he was the last down, we were in here looking at it. And he said he's had it before. I don't remember. I don't think he has reviewed this one. But he said he has had it before, if I'm not mistaken. Brian, if I'm wrong, let me know in the comments. All right. This is Mississippi Mud. Um, famous slow brewed black and tan. It is a porter and a pilsner. One quart. Whew. It is Friday. Don't know when you're going to get this video. It'd be at the end of February, but it is Friday at the time that I'm recording this. So, um, I couldn't actually find this on the website. It is from Mississippi Brewing. Um, let me check again. I believe they're out of New York, believe it or not. Hmm. I'm looking, I'm looking. It says Mississippi Brewing. Retype it. Well, let's get into it. We'll find that out later. All right, Mississippi Brewing, Mississippi Mud, Black and Tan, dating back to the 18th century, England. The custom of blending pale and dark beers has kept the Black and Tan a favorite of experienced beer drinkers for centuries. Our famous recipe combines a robust English porter with a fine continental pilsner, preserving the character of each while creating the classic taste of the legendary black and tan. In true American style, we bring you the best of both beers as they, as they meet in Mississippi mud. All right, it says produced by Mississippi Brewing Company and another one out of Utica, New York. All right, has the same saying that's on there and let's get into it. So since this is a porter, wow, this thing don't want to come off, and a pilsner, so I got a glass that's close to what I pour a porter in and a pilsner. Oh yeah, look at that. Man, that sounds like a Coca-Cola. You can hear it carbonation. Seal that back up so we don't lose the carbonation. Put that off to the side. Um, not much on what I can't find their actual website. As you can see, Carbonation, it, it is a light color. I can see my fingers coming through with the light. Carbonation sticking to the glass. As you can see, the head went away. It was an off-white looking head. Um, I can still see the carbonation bubbling up. I don't know if y'all can hear my cat. She must have a kill in her mouth, which means either a rag or some piece of paper. 
Can't, I guess this is actually like a, a bar and restaurant. The Mississippi Broom Company. Yeah, see, it doesn't, their website's not very user friendly. So if you're listening, Mississippi Brewing Company, make it easier to follow. I don't know what's in this. It's a Pilsner and a Porter mixed together. Let's give it a smell. Dominant smell is of a Porter. It's like got a roastiness smell to it. Maybe like a hint of coffee. You know, turn your nose if you maybe you can smell it better. Other than that, maybe a hint of the Pilsner smell. But I'm getting the, a roasty coffee smell. Let's give it a taste because I can't, you know, I can't get what's in here. So... Cheers, everyone. Okay. To me, it tastes mostly like a porter. I'm getting, let me get one more, one more. Because you know, you gotta have more than one sip because you don't know, you get the impurities out of your mouth with the first swig, second swig. I'm getting a roasty, um, like a coffee, real light coffee flavor, maybe a hint of chocolate. Uh, I'm not tasting much of the Pilsner in there. So this looks really, I mean, this was, it looks good. It is a real light brown color. Um, it's got that porter style taste to it. Um, a little nutty flavor in there. Um, but basically, I don't, I don't, I'm not getting the Pilsner part, which is, makes me happy because I'm not a big Pilsner fan. Um, I've tasted a couple good Pilsners, but most of them to me, and not knocking people who like Pilsner, it's just not my type of beer. Uh, but I will review it. Um, I give this two thumbs up. Would I drink it again? Absolutely. Would I buy it again? Yes, I think I did. Man, this is like a quart. Not, I, I think I paid like three dollars and something for it. And it's a great tasting um, porter slash pilsner, black and tan. Yeah, it's got great flavor. The carbonation is a low medium. There's not a a lot of carbonation going in there. That's the only disappointing thing about this. The carbonation is there, though. I mean, it's, it's a low medium. So I would definitely drink this. If you've had this before, please leave me a comment below. Um, once again, this is Mississippi Mud. Uh, famous slow brew black and tan porter and a pilsner. I'm going to show you the bottle. It is Friday for me. I'm going to sit back and... Drink on this because I'm saving this bottle. This is a very neat bottle. So if you want to win, please subscribe to my channel. If you like what you see and you're a new subscriber, hit that subscribe button. Um, like, share, and comment. Let me know if you've had this before. If you haven't, I suggest you try it. Um, right now, that's the only size that I have seen in the stores where I live here in Florida. They could be some different sizes. Not sure. There's not much on the website. If I can find anything else, I'll put it in the description. So if you would, everyone, please drink responsibly. Don't drink and drive in. Cheers. That's a good black and tan.